In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to compress a PowerPoint file in just about five minutes. Whether you're looking to save space on your computer, share your presentation more easily via email, or just speed up your PowerPoint's performance, you've come to the right place. Compressing your PowerPoint files can significantly reduce their file size while maintaining an acceptable level of quality for most uses. Let's dive right in and get started. First things first, we need to have Microsoft PowerPoint open on our computer. So go ahead and launch the application. Once it's up and running, you'll want to open the specific file you're looking to compress. Navigate through your folders and select the presentation. Now, with your PowerPoint file opened, you're ready to begin the compression process. Let's head over to the File tab. This tab is usually located in the upper left corner of your screen. Clicking on File will open a new set of options related to your PowerPoint file. From here, we need to find and click on the Info option. The Info section is where PowerPoint gathers all the details about your presentation, including its size and properties. You'll notice different options related to your file settings and properties in this area. Within the Info section, look for a feature named Compress Media. This feature is specifically designed to help reduce the size of your presentation by compressing various media elements such as images, videos, and audio files that your presentation might contain. Clicking on Compress Media will prompt you with a few quality options. Now this is an important step, choosing your file quality. PowerPoint will typically offer you three levels of compression, presentation quality, internet quality, and low quality. Presentation quality will compress your media files the least, aiming to retain as much of the original quality as possible. This is a good choice if you're planning to present on a large screen, or if your presentation heavily relies on the quality of media files. Internet quality is a balanced option, offering a moderate level of compression. It's ideal for most cases, especially if you intend to share the PowerPoint online or via email. Lastly, low quality offers the highest level of compression. While this will significantly reduce your file size, it may noticeably affect the quality of media in your PowerPoint. Choose the option that best suits your needs based on how you plan to use or share your presentation. After you've made your selection, PowerPoint will begin the compression process. This could take a few moments to a few minutes, depending on the size of your file and the number of media elements it contains. Once the compression is complete, you'll likely notice that the size of your PowerPoint file has reduced significantly, making it easier to manage, share and open. But before we wrap up, a couple of quick tips to ensure the best results. Always make a backup of your original PowerPoint file before starting the compression process. This way you have something to fall back on in case the compressed version doesn't meet your expectations in terms of quality. Also, if you're compressing your file primarily to share it via email, consider using online platforms that specialize in large file sharing. This way you can share your presentations without overly compromising on quality due to size restrictions. And that's it you've successfully compressed your PowerPoint file, making it more manageable and efficient to use. Whether you're a student, a business professional, or anyone in between, understanding how to compress your PowerPoint presentations can save you time and trouble, especially when sharing your work with others. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial on how to compress a PowerPoint file in just about five minutes. Remember, it's all about finding the right balance between file size and quality to suit your specific needs. Until next time, keep exploring and enhancing your PowerPoint skills.